Appreciate it. And Mike, uh, obviously tough night for you. One of 10 from the three point line. What were they doing defensively specifically on those threes or, or were those just shots that you typically make? Uh, they just weren't dropping tonight. They just weren't dropping tonight. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Hey, Michael, coach talked about uh, them kind of picking on you a little bit in the pick and roll. What can you change, I guess, to, to make it harder for them or, or to make them, you know, think twice about going at you like that? I mean, just keep playing hard, keep playing D. Um, try to make those guys into drivers instead of three point shooters. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. you most about the way that they came to play tonight? Say it again. What surprised you most about the way that they came tonight and about what the, the product basketball wise they put on the floor? I mean, they played well. I think they hit 19 threes. Um, we definitely got to cut that down if we, if we want a chance to win this series. <laughs> we'll go back to Mike Singer with the Denver Post. Hey Mike, you got switched on to Dame a couple times um, tonight. What can you describe the pressure that he puts on you with his shooting and obviously his driving ability? I mean, he's just a really good player when he's hitting uh, those tough contested shots. Um, just like any other great player, um, if he's hitting those, he can't do much about it. Um, so just like I said, try to play good. He try to turn him into a driver instead of a three point shooter. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Michael, um, you guys have played shorthanded a lot this season, and you're shorthanded again now. Um, down 1-0, game two. What sense of healthy desperation does this team need to bring to game two to get back in this series? It's one game. Um, we're down 1-0, and there's, you got to get the four wins, so we're good. It's just one game. We'll... we'll Regroup tomorrow and try to get it uh, next game. Go back to Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Mike, does your mindset change at all, or how does your mind change when you're in with that second unit and Jokic is off the floor? Do you think of yourself more as I have to shoot it if I touch it, or does anything change in the way that you play? I mean, I'm trying to be aggressive the whole game, but obviously it'd be smart. So when Jokic's on the floor, definitely – Want him to touch the ball as much as possible. Um, and then the second unit, be a little bit more aggressive. But I'm trying to be aggressive the whole game. Leonardo Torres. Hi, Mike. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Mike, how the team can improve the defense against a team that should so well from the, the three-point line? Um, we just got to make it a point of emphasis to get out to the three and not let them make so many threes, shoot so many threes, um, make them play inside the three-point line as much as we can. Well, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer. Sorry about that. Um, you guys obviously lose tonight and going into game two, possibility of going down 0-2. How do you not put pressure on yourself going into that situation? How do you kind of just hone in and focus on game two instead of the bigger context? Because we don't look at it like that. We look at it as a possibility to tie up the series. So we're not looking at it like a possibility to go down 0-2. Um, we're just looking at it as itself and trying to tie up the series. All right, that'll do it. Thanks.